Hello and welcome to my review of the Handy Rack HR20. The video you're seeing in the background is me setting the Handy Rack up for the first time on my Ford Puma. It's around about four times speed, so in total it took me about eight minutes to set it up from scratch, from not looking at it at all, to getting out of the box and get on my car. The HR20 is the smaller brother of the Handy Rack system. It's about £20 cheaper and can only support about the quarter of the weight. Uh, it can support, this one can support about 20 kilograms, which is just about right for a kind of river on a kayak. I put my Jackson kayak on it later, uh, only in the carport. Uh, eventually I did take it out on the road. What I thought about it was, it's not quite as good as the metal roof back, but it's a lot easier to fit than its metal counterpart. Still a bit, bit of wobble on it, a bit of give, but I was happy to take my boat on it to 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour on the motorway, not a problem. The roof did make a little dink when I tightened up the straps, but I'm not too fussed about that on my car. You might be slightly more fussed about it on your cars. As well as that, you need to make sure your roof is completely clean, because any dirt will easily get ground into it and start chipping away at your paintwork. I certainly think for the ease of getting it on and the money it cost, it's great for putting a kayak on your roof if you want to get it outside the car or if it just won't fit inside your car. Downsides, you can only fit one kayak on it and it is limited to the, that 20k load. And you know, it can bring dent your roof possibly, you know, depending on your car. My car, the bars are quite close together which made it a little bit awkward to tie my boat on. Nothing, not a big issue, um, but something to consider. There was also a few horror stories about of inflatable roof racks going bang when they're blown up in the cold and left on the car all day when it's hot. So I would definitely recommend taking them off during the day if you're leaving them out while you're out on the river. I certainly would take mine off the roof and deflate them a bit and leave them in the car before I go out on the river. It does come with a set of own straps, as you can see in the video now. I don't think they're as good as normal canoe straps. There seem to be a lot of flex and a lot of give in them. Nothing major once you pull them tight, but it just seems like you're pulling the stretch out of them for a good good while before they actually tighten up. Uh, I'll still use them, but I probably will eventually go around to get my own canoe straps again and use them to tighten up rather than use their own. That's all. Uh, as you can see, that's the handy rack fit to my car. Took about eight minutes, not even that. Uh, quick look around, see the straps. I just close the straps in the door for ease. Uh, you can secure them a bit better than that if you want to. Thanks for watching.